like just the fact that like i said you can create whatever you want to create on the internet because you have a iphone and you can start talking about the things that you love all of these people like that rejected me like i'm just gonna prove them wrong it's just that simple so just got this email from aws activate which gives us a thousand dollars but i want to talk about the larger vision like it's a bigger vision i want to bring to the world with all dreams and the vision is to build out all right guys it's august 6 2024 it's 8 24 in the morning and we have 87 days before we launched the all dreams platform uh thank you guys for subscribing tuning in if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to follow this journey um give a like give a comment would love to talk to you guys in the comment let me know what you guys think about what i'm doing uh documenting building my company here in cartagena colombia um look I'm a little bit late today, I can't lie. The last couple days I've been a little bit under the weather. So uh, I haven't got to uh, the board talk yesterday. It was raining all day, last night it was like, it was like the weather was really, really bad. Um, like I said, I'm not feeling uh, all that good. But the important part is that I'm here, okay? Um, and that, that's, you know, that's all that counts is that you show up, okay? So I don't have anything long to say today. I'm just gonna go ahead and get to work, get the episode for today uploaded. So it's ready for 12 p.m. It's already cut. And uh, man, just just get to work. And that's and see what the day has or whatever. I'm not sure how long I'll be in this office today because like I said, I don't feel well. One thing that I do have to do, okay? If you watched a few episodes ago, it's this cat that, you know, he's sneaking into my area and he's doing his business on my grass. And I have to go to home center to see if I can get some type of deterrent because he got through the extra, um, you know, the extra rip tie, you know, the zip ties that I put onto the, onto the uh, gate. Like I can't, come to work every single day and this cat i mean he's in bad shape he's in bad shape but this cat is sneaking in here thinking this is his bathroom this is all dreams it's not his bathroom okay so uh I'm, that's one thing i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna have to go to home center uh but let me take care of the things i gotta take care of and man i hope you guys have a great day and i'm out for right now oh shoot Sick. That's what's up. Yes, that's what's up right there, buddy. So, definitely good news right there. Just got an email from Amazon AWS for uh, AWS Activate. So, just got this email from AWS Activate. Um, which gives us a thousand dollars in uh, AWS credits or whatever to build and start with on AWS or whatever. So this is this is dope. This is awesome. Um, man, look, congratulations! Your AWS Activate credits have been issued. You can now access exclusive offers, technical expertise published on the Startup Showcase, and discover learning resources to grow your startup on the aws startup website so that's dope that's dope that's dope i i need to i need to capture this because I, i'm talking about or i'm brainstorming on the larger vision of all dreams okay um and i've never even disclosed anything past the All Dreams platform, the application where an athlete can capture their full sports journey, build their community and earn money, um, which will help them gain exposure, 
get the financial support that they need in order for them to reach their goals or become closer to their goals uh, as an athlete. Okay, that's what you know our platform does, and it's dedicated for athletes, dedicated for amateur athletes. Okay, um, but it's a larger vision that I have for all dreams. Of course, like one of the main reasons I started All Dreams is because I wanted to support the dreams of athletes, mainly because it was a pain point for me, right? But it was also a pain point for many athletes that I was either friends with, um, spoke to, it's just, you know, these were concerns and pain points of many athletes and it still is, right? And that's why I want to go ahead and try to solve the, that problem um, with our solution, <laughs> basically the All Dreams platform. But it's a larger vision for All Dreams. As I'm here in uh, Cartagena, one of the reasons why I love Cartagena is because it's so close to the United States, right? Like today, if I needed to go home, I could just hop a flight and it'd take me two hours to get to Miami, a little over two hours to get to Miami. And that access to be inside the states, but then outside the states, but then in the tropics, um, just so works for what I'm building. But I wanna talk about the larger vision. Like, it's a bigger vision that um, I want to bring to the world with all dreams. And the vision is to build out this, this thing, okay, where all dreams is in Cartagena, outside of the city, and it's facilities, basketball facilities, football facilities, uh, baseball, soccer, even golf, um, pools, and people from all over the world can come and compete in tournaments here. It will be content, podcasts, where we tell the stories of athletes. So it's sort of like a getaway from a getaway from the States but you come to compete against different teams, maybe from across the world if it gets that big. Uh, but it's also like like athletes, mental health facilities, uh, housing for the athletes that come um, to to you know to the All Dreams. I don't know whether we call it an HQ. I'm not sure what what do we call it at this point. But it's, you know, like I said, it's content, it's podcasts, it's storytelling. It's, you know, a, it's basically a place dedicated for athletes, a sanctuary dedicated for athletes, basically. So it will be basketball tournaments, but athletes can, you know, work on their, you know, their, their different parts of their game. Uh, also, it will be repair for their body. Um, what else did I have? Um, and it, you know, it's a, it's, it was, it's a membership. It would maybe be a membership or something like that, you know. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big vision. And in order for that vision to to happen, of course, the app has to be successful. Um, if we are able to get to that twenty six million recurring uh, annual annual recurring revenue, we possibly could build something like this. Um, but I want it to be a sanctuary for athletes. This is such a beautiful city. Uh, you don't have weather problems, you know. Uh, it's such a getaway and it's such an experience. And like I said, outside of the city, I wanna buy land, a bunch of land, acres of land and build all dreams as a big vision where we're making an impact in the world for athletes and, and giving them the tools to possibly reach their full potential as athletes. Um, 
and that's the larger vision for all dreams. I've never like said anything like that. I've never disclosed this, but it's just not, you know, it's a progression. Like this thing really, our, my mission right in the beginning was to support one million dreamers. Those dreamers, we have to stay consistent with the terminology, those dreamers are one million athletes, okay? We want to support, be able to support one million athletes worldwide, and that was by 2033. Uh, so that was, we started this in 2023, that was a 10 year thing, so nine years we're looking at it, but I want to build these facilities where athletes come, compete, repair, uh, film content about their story, and things like that. Um, and that's the larger vision for our dreams. It's, it, it's big, it's big because I want to make so much impact in the world and I think this is the perfect place to be able to uh, hold such a, a large vision, okay? So as you can see, it's like 1.41 p.m. And I received the official um, rejection from Techstars Atlanta, JP Morgan, for the September co cohort. Um, I had already knew that, um, that we were rejected from, from, that, from that cohort. I think I said this in July or whatever, early July or even late June. I, I figured because uh, we didn't get it, I didn't get a meeting. So now, uh, <laughs> August six, they tell you, hey, you are rejected officially, but who cares? Um, again, like. All of these people like that rejected me, like I'm just gonna prove them wrong. It's just that simple. Um, that's you know that's 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 what I plan to do. I just go and prove them wrong, um, and just make them hate that they pass me over. That's where I'm at with it. So, uh, shit. Michael got cut from his uh, his high school team, and Brady six round draft pick and he made people pay and that's what i plan to do i'm just going look i'm gonna make i'm gonna make these people pay like it's just that simple hello hey man hey man how are you i'm good i'm well man i'm, I'm doing well thank you um so I wanted to I wanted to talk to you about something um, has nothing to do with Monsi. It has to do with the the previous situation with with Salvi. Okay. Yeah, that's 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 concerning because I because I would have never had, I would have never had access to the to the develop to the Apple developer or to the Google Play accounts because it, it wasn't in my name. Yeah, this time basically uh, we are using all your accounts, right? We, we mostly use Skype's account to uh, post anything, to uh, put the codes. So you will get the access on everything. Like you will be the owner and we are the editor. We will edit all these things. And in future, if you want to give some uh, some other person to that code, you can able to just give your account and he or she can able to get that code from there. So we are uh, uh, putting everything on your account itself. We are not putting anything in our account. Uh, everything will be on your GitHub, 
and food will be okay I'll, I'll see um, whether our, their payment will be released um, today it's still it's still 214 here so still kind of, it's still before five uh, but if not today if not today definitely tomorrow uh, no reason sorry to that I was not aware about that like the morning thing okay perfect I'll let you I'll, uh, I'll send you the confirmation as soon as I send the payment over uh, okay sure no okay. all right thank you man have a good day okay all right thank you bye right. bye bye What's going on guys it's still tuesday headed to the basketball court still not feeling that great but i figure if i play a little bit might knock whatever is in me out uh it's been cloudy like you know what i mean like these last couple days like Cloudy. Weather's still good though. Um, man, <clears throat> day by day, you know, I notice more and more that nobody cares about much. Like nobody gives a fuck. Like real talk. You feel what I'm saying? Like. We live in a society in this day and age where that shit is like, only thing people care about is what they can get out of you, how they can use you, how they can gain from you, you know? It's not many genuine people like out in the world no more man it's crazy too that it's like that that's a good thing and it's a bad thing you understand the good thing about it is nowadays with the internet like you can literally create what you want to create so it's not like you need many people you know it's like it's not like oh you no know, Yo, I need this person to start something. Like we all got cameras on our phone. And any day we feel like if we could just start talking about our life and the things that we're passionate about, our experiences and things like that. And that could get you a following or starting a business, you know, just the things that you are into. I think that's like the best thing about like the internet. You feel what I'm saying? And then also the best thing about like not having to really worry about what other people got going on really, you know? Uh, the bad thing about it is like, man, like people need, need people, you know, like, like that's the bad thing about like everybody being alone is people need people like we need that inter that social interaction and we are losing that social interaction every single day more and more and more and more and more and more people just don't give a fuck like for real for real like it's crazy More and more and more people are being isolated. More and more and more I think people are having mental health problems from being in isolation. I think more and more and more people are having anxiety issues for what they don't have because we are a mimic society. So what we do is we mimic what we see, you know? Um, and we, we, we mimic what we see and we want what we mimic, right? So that's a huge thing. But I always like to look at the good side and the bad side 
of everything because it is like it's it's a yin and a yang to everything like just the fact that like i said you can create which whatever you want to create on the internet because you have a iphone and you can start talking about the things that you love to talk about the things that you love to do and you could get an audience for that and the crazy thing is you don't even need a big audience you know it's like that kevin kelly a thousand true fans like work on your 1000 true fans like <laughs> like that's the key like you don't need a hundred thousand you need a thousand true fans and that should be the goal for everybody that wants to do a personal brand or anything like that that wants to have their, their voice heard their goal should be to get 1,000 true fans. And that's why I don't really care about like, you know, the low views that I get right now. Um, also because it's, you know, I've mentioned this before that it's more to what I'm doing than just YouTube views. Like this is solidified documentation of this journey. you know, showing up every single day. It's like challenging to me. I'm challenging myself, but um, yeah, I suggest everyone with any ideas and anything that, you know, everybody has something to say, but I suggest people, get on camera and say the things that they're into, you know? Um, yeah. But yeah, this world is, no one gives a fuck anymore at all. No one gives a fuck anymore. And that's the new world that we live in. And a few people that give a fuck, <laughs> is very very selective on the people they give a fuck about because there's so many bad people that's in the world right now so all right man look i just arrived to the court so i'm gonna go over here change my clothes Peace, y'all. Y'all have a good day. See you tomorrow.